So this is problem 3.11 of Sadiku. So we will have but we will have to find out this V0 here. And we will have I will assume that this is our ground. And by doing that, I'm I will get the not here. This will be 64 because this is a voltage source and then this node here will be so this is the ground but the polarity is positive here so this one must be lower than this one so it is minus 24 volt so now we will going to use KCL and it is zero now we will need to assume where the current goes so I will assume that the current goes here, and this current goes here, and that current goes there. So now we know that the current that goes in is equal to the current that goes out. The current that goes in is only this one. So we will have 60 minus V0 divided by 12. And that is the only current that goes in. And now we will have two current that goes out, so we will start here first. It is V0 divided by 12, and then the current that going there, it is V0 minus, minus 24, and then divided by 6. Okay, to make it easier to see, easier to see, so I will let's change this one into plus and we will multiply both sides by 12 so we will have 60 minus v0 is equal to v0 plus 2 v0 plus 48 that's 48 see the white one is 30 so I will have 48 and uh, we will calculate this by moving the, this phenol there so we will have 4v0 there and then this one 60 minus 48 it is 12 uh, and this next equation we will, we will have v0 is equal to 12 divided by 4 it is 3 4 so here we will have 3 4 now let's name this resistor L1 this resistor is L2 and this one is R3 now we will have power we need to find power dissipated in its resistor So let's start at R1. So the power is V times I, but by doing ohm law, we will have V times V over F, and that will equal to V squared over F. And now we will need to calculate the resistance between these two points so there is 60 60 minus 3 60 minus 3 there is 57 57 squared and it needs to be divided by 12 so there is 57 times 57 by 12. You can calculate by using calculator. Okay, let's continue this. I don't have calculator around, but I have this computer around. So I will calculate that one. 57 times 57 divided by 12 
is equal to that's that's the value that's the value this is the power dissipated by r1 and then we will need to calculate the same one for r2 again we can use this formula v squared divided by r and the voltage here is v0 it's 3 the difference between them is 3 minus 0 so 3 squared and it's divided by 12 so 9 over 12 this is 0.75 watt and then the last one and then the last one the power by r3 so power is v squared over r and the difference between this and this so there is 3 minus 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 so it's become plus squared divided by 6 and let me calculate this in calculator and we will have 121.5 watt and this is the answer this is for the power dissipated R1, R2 and R3 and this is for V0 we got all the answer that needs to find in the problem so it's done Thank you for watching, let me know if I make any mistakes.